The historic power-sharing deal in Greece didn't quiet concerns in the markets. Despite Socialist Prime Minister George Papandreou and Conservative leader Andonis Samaras agreeing to work together to push through a financial rescue deal to avoid the country going bankrupt, skeptics still weren't sure what was being hammered out will really resolve the country's political turmoil and avoid Greece defaulting on its debts. Major European indexes drop more than 1% in morning trading. Oliver Roth is director of trade at Close Brothers Saidler Bank. Political stability in Greece is suffering, and what the markets needed was a stable government. Stable decision making, and we cannot expect this anymore. Even with a government of national unity, it's questionable if promises will be kept. There are fresh worries, too, about Italy, too big to be bailed out, as its borrowing rates hit a euro-era high. The head of the largest labor union told the AP 2012 will be a terrifying year for the country's economy, no matter what happens to beleaguered Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi and his government. Still mounting speculation that Berlusconi might go was enough to start the volatile markets heading back up in a positive direction again. Even so, people had to scramble for the last buses and long lines formed at taxi ranks as Italians and visitors grappled with a 24-hour transit strike. And with the announcement of fresh austerity measures in France, where the prime minister spoke of a cap on the increase in Social Security benefits, among other steps, it seems the new business week has brought no easing of concerns on economic issues in Europe. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.